Once we get back to Lug Village, too. Once we get to Lug Village, we'll go back to NPC dialogue. It's been a while since we've done the NPC dialogue in this game. That sort of makes up for it, because we've been doing a lot of it in the beginning. Try out this Puffy Fire, why not? Puffy just breathing fire. Like a dragon. Pretty easy, right? Puffy's probably half dragon. Half of the red dragon, like Ruby from Lunar 2. Heal up. Bum, bum, bum. Give me this. An herb. What's that do? I, I don't really. <laughs> I, like, I don't use those. Kind of worthless, IMO. Alright, there aren't many treasures in the east form of the forest. This area is relatively small. Oh, I remember these, uh, these cobras, these snakes, along with the birds. The grim haze and the bird break. Yeah, the snakes that turn to, like, bottles or whatever. I remember them. They have howl. That's kind of scary. Yeah, getting ambushed on these guys is actually pretty risky. Oh, that hurts. I'm confused, though. Oh, that's bad. Oh, wow. Fina died. This was not a good idea, chat. Not a good idea at all. How much will... We're gonna do cloud attack. I think Justin, though. I'm gonna try fire away. Hopefully, you can make it. I think Justin saved the game, so if we wipe out here, that's fine. All right, good. Yeah, these guys can be dangerous. I would not recommend an getting ambushed on these guys. Of course, that's a lot easier said than done. But um, getting ambushes on those guys, actually challenging. Because they're, they're pretty hard, those enemies. They can confuse you and all that. And confusion in most JRPGs sucks. <laughs> and this game is no exception. What game is there confusion and it doesn't suck? It always sucks, no matter what game you're playing. This should be- ooh, it's a seed. This should be my second treasure. A battle fruit. Oh, but this is like, um, this is like a healing SP. It's still good, though. I'll take it. My main concern right now is getting money. Because there's not much. There's money now. Yeah, I'll fight you guys. Why not? We don't need to collect all the money, but getting most of it would be neat. And exploring a bit. Uh, Justin, we're gonna shockwave. Ooh, this is a perfect place to grind some weapon XP. Come on, Fina. Alright, that's one less. They die in one hit, at least. Basically. Ooh, lots of sword level ups. By lots of sword level ups, I mean lots of sword XP, which gave me one level up. 108 gold for six of those is worthless. The Garlau soldiers were giving me more. That's exactly what I was saying with the whole, uh, in Garlisle Soldiers, we were getting a lot more, um, money. Now we're gonna go back to normal, where we don't get too much money. I'm gonna have Sue defend, because I wanna work on Justin and Fina's magic and weapon levels. Burn should do something. Try Burn. Kinda hoping it doesn't kill. It killed one, it's fine. At least Fina got the knife hurl. <laughs> Pretty easy. Am I connected to chat? Because my, my mini feed isn't appearing. Because like I, I don't see like I usually get to see my mini feed, like who follows or anything. I hope I didn't miss any follows. I'll just look later. Not sure. I, I think I am connected to chat, but it's really weird. My mini feed on Streamlabs doesn't show anything. Normally, my mini feed shows like everything, everyone who's followed and stuff, but it hasn't shown that, and that's a little fishy. Maybe it's just a Streamlabs glitch. Who knows? Hi. 
Either way, if I'm not responding to chat, I'm clearly not connected. But I doubt I'm disconnected. I think I am connected to chat. But if I am missing something, that's why. Here goes. Uh, good old burn right here. Bum 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 By the way chat, it's not definite because I don't know how much longer is Scarlet Nexus, but um we could be finishing Scarlet Nexus this week. We're we're in standby phase nine. As I predicted, I, I think we could probably finish the game the ne not the next stream, but the stream after that. Potentially. So we could probably finish Scarlet Nexus in two more streams. I'll do one tomorrow, maybe, and then thir Thursday or Friday will be the second one. Could probably finish Scarlet Nexus in that time. We'll see what happens, though. No promises. Because I, I don't actually know how much longer is Scarlet Nexus, but, um... Based on how the game seems, I'm thinking we could finish this week. I think we're, like, no more than three streams. Like, I think three streams maximum we could finish the game. Is my prediction. Could be more, who knows, but I doubt it. I don't know exactly how many phases are in the game, though, so I could be mistaken. Um, do I want to burn flame here? I don't think I do. Eh, do it. Why not? We haven't had Fina use magic in a while. If only enemies could, like, live burn flames so Fina can get good magic level ups, but, like, not at the cost of everyone not getting level ups. What is your fire? Or your fire magic's level 6. That's not bad. One more level 2 magic to learn. It's level 12 wind. Is that Halnado? No, Halnado is only learned by, uh... It might be Halnado. I don't remember. That is definitely Zap Dragon Zap, level 3. Level 3 Fire and Wind is definitely Dragon Zap. Level 9 is Burn Flare. We're almost there to Burn Flare, which is surprising. Knife is also level 9, which means one more level up for that and we can finally get off it. Alright, now, now I'm just trying to find a way to go. There's nothing here, but I explored most of this area. I'm just trying to get out now. I'll fight this tree. I'll let him ambush me too. Scarlet Nexus is a good game. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say this now. I'm not gonna go too much into it, but um, I'm a little um. It had some moments where I was a little disappointed. It wasn't the best. I wouldn't say it's like one of my favorite games. It, it's a good game. I'm glad I played it. I definitely expected more from it though. Feel the Earth's fury. If anything, the combat is insanely fun. But other than that. And the plot. The plot is really good, but the, the thing with the plot is the plot took a while to get interesting. Like, the plot was like... They kept you under the wraps for so long, I feel, and I feel like it just ruined the pacing of the plot for me. It really just felt like, oh, like, you know, Yuito and Kasane fighting, but you really don't know why, and it just... I felt like if they... If they explained stuff a little quicker... I feel like Kasane and Yuito finally, like, work together too late in the game. I haven't finished the game, so I'm not sure how it's going to end up, but I'm in Luck Village, apparently. But, um, I definitely, uh, Scarlet Nexus is fun. I like the game. It's good. The combat's amazingly fun, but, um, it definitely isn't one of, one of my favorite games. It definitely, uh, did leave me a bit disappointed. It's still a fun game, though. It was definitely worth the time, but yeah. But we're playing Grandia. I'm not talking about Scarlet Nexus. I just wanted to let that out there for someone in chat. This is Luck, this is Luck Village. I already told everyone here about you. And the village chief says that I would like to, that he would like to meet you. He says he wants to thank you. I'll be waiting at my house to so go on and see the village chief. Okay, see you later. That's fine. We have NPCs to talk to. My goodness, so many NPCs. My goodness. Actually, this isn't that bad. I feel like New Parm was bigger. Alright, well, the best way is to start from the bottom. 
The folks here all have tails. They flutter them around like wings. I wonder if tails are very useful. Hmm, good question. We get our tail at an early age, so I've got nothing to compare it to. I wonder, is it inconvenient for you not to have a tail? I wonder myself. They say that in the distant past our people could fly. I've also heard our tails are remnants of that area. Era. You see, we used to have wings, but when we stopped flying, they became tails, which look like wings. See how fluffy and light my tail is? It's almost like I could fly with it. Actually, I'm very proud of my tail. I secretly believe that my tail is probably the finest in the village. Good for you. I wish I had a tail. We've got outsiders in our village. What's worse, they're weird looking creatures without any horns or tails. How dare you? What? Excuse me. Why do you say that? You said what? Hey, don't don't you foreigners know how to listen? I'm going to be the village chief soon. I lost the election by a small margin, but I'll be the village chief if we'll have to deal with outsiders wandering into our village. We've long been isolated thanks to the mist. What'll happen, what'll happen to our customs now? I can't stand it. Our current village chief is too nice to outsiders. I won't allow that. Shouldn't you always be nice to outsiders, though? I mean, you'd be a terrible chief village, village chief. Uh, you, you're right there. Hey, look, it's the guys with no tails, the ones who came with Rem. I'm so envious, I wish I could go outside the village and go see all sorts of stuff. Maybe I should just do it like Rem did, and even though the grown-ups said we're not supposed to. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't just be doing what the grown-ups say. I think I'll do what I want. Hmm, but you know, if you disobey the grown-ups, you'll have to face a lot of danger. Is that okay with you? Oh, well, I don't really like danger. I know what I'll do. For now, I'll just go do what the grown-ups say. <laughs> okay. Always give in to the grown-ups. As far as I know, you're the first outsiders to vis visit this village. Since this village is surrounded by mist, by the God of Light's protection, the fact that you're here must mean that the God of Light accepts you. Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to add my own thanks for your rescue of Rem. Cool. Sir, that's a nice stone you have hanging from your neck. Thanks, you like this stone? Good stones help us protect. Help protect us, you know? Oh yeah, what about this one? It's a memento from my father. Oh my, that's a good stone. In our village, it's considered good luck to add ch chance upon such good stones. I'm sure you could have made it through the Misty Forest even without Rem. That good stone would have guided you. In fact, a stone as good as that one will help you overcome any difficulties you encounter. If I were you, I'd hang on to a stone at all costs. Haha, <laughs> of course I'll hang on to it. It's a memento from my father. Hmm, never seen you guys before. So, did you drink the nectar? I don't like nectar. Nectar? What nectar? You didn't drink the nectar. You better go to the village chief's place right away and talk to him. I can't talk with you since you haven't had the nectar. You better go drink some. I press plus every time for the menu. Oh, I know you. You're the outsiders who helped Rem return safely. We're all pleased with what you did. Thank you so much. Please don't make such a big deal out of it. We first-rate adventurers have a duty to help people in need. Anyway, I've never seen outsiders before. I like your fur coat's color. I never saw that color on any beast. I wish I had a fur coat like that. Do you know where that type of animal lives? I want to send a hunter after it. Huh? This is, uh, this is not a fur coat. It's cotton. It comes from a plant. Oh, really? You can make clothing out of plants? Isn't that hard to do? Doesn't the clothing get ripped up? No, not at all. It's pretty sturdy stuff. Haha, <laughs> all right. Long ago, way before even my grandpa was born, everyone lived on the other side of that wall. Maybe some people still live on the other side now. Tell me about the end of the world. Long ago, way before my grandpa was- same stuff. Okay. Just look at the bomb dump. Bone dump. Isn't that the finest bone dump ever? Bet there's nothing like this in your village. You're right, Parm doesn't even have a bone dump. What? Is your village okay? To avoid catastrophes, a village must have good- must take good care of bones. If folks dump bones just anywhere, it brings bad luck, so you need to dump them where a priest can bury- purify them. Our bone dumps in the village center. If we dump our bones outside the village, monsters will attack us. Come on, that can't be true. Well, come to think of it, such monsters do exist. Yeah, that's why in Parm, dead people just get buried. I wonder if it's true. Those are called graveyards. Our bone dumps in the village center, a priest purifies the bone of breast and then throws the bones in the dump. Okay, our spears and weapons and bows are ready. We've got our offering for the God of Light. This time we'll be sure to have good hunting. If I catch a nice plump rabbit, we'll have a feast. Ooh, you eat rabbits? Oh, how cruel. Look, when we die, we go back from we go back to the earth. Plants grow from that earth and rabbits eat those plants to live. Sure, we eat rabbits, but when we die, our bodies fertilize the plants that the rabbits live on. 
In other words, in this village and people in this village people and nature support each other in living. But still. Thank Oh hi. Even though you guys say Brahma gives me the creeps to see outsiders like you in our village, I mean you're such weird looking creatures. There's no tail, not even any horns on you. Well, mister, from our point of view, you folks are all are the ones who look mighty strange. Still, I must say I'm a little envious of your tails and horns. Oh really? Well when I look closely at that part of you I can see two horns are growing. Hey, those aren't the horns. <laughs> oh, you mean puffy. Oh really? When I look at you I can when I look closely at that part I can see two horns growing. <laughs> oh man. Hi. Stone, stone. Nope, no luck, I guess. What are you doing? I'm looking for a guiding stone. It's a mysterious, beautiful stone that can make any wish come true. Stones have amazing powers, you know, and the God of Light is made of stone. Oh, oh, and now I get it. Even the Spirit Stone is a stone. Yeah, I mean, it has it in the in the name. That's why we give stones special treatment in this village. I'm looking for a guiding stone, a mysterious, beautiful stone that can make any wish come true. Hmm, never seen you people here before? Well, look at that. You don't have any horns or tails or even tattoos. Tattoos? You mean like what the sailors have? Sailors? I don't know anything about sailors, but I know what tattoos are. They're proof of bravery. They stick with you with a quill to make ink go to your skin. It hurts like crazy, but the brave can take it. I'm against tattoos, by the way. Know this, know this as me as a person. Your boy Nova is against tattoos i have nothing against anyone who likes tattoos i will never get a tattoo and i don't plan on ever getting a tattoo even tough guys cry when they get tattooed the village chief's son he cried even the village chief cried me i'm not too crazy about pain so i decided to be a tattoo artist how about you when you're an adult are you going to get any tattoos i'm going to get one that really hurts i will never get a tattoo no thank you aren't you the ones who rescued rem as a thank you gift here's a yummy fresh freshly picked caterpillar Ugh, caterpillar. Oh, I really couldn't accept it, but please give it to Sue. <laughs> Justin, don't pass it on to me just because you don't want to eat it. <laughs> you rescued Rem. He had been gone for several days. We were so worried. Thank you. You're welcome. It seems you're rather fond of Rem, aren't you? Um, no way. I. Uh, it's just that there aren't many kids our age in the village. That's all. Yes, well, Rem can be mischievous sometimes. He secretly ties people's tails together. Scribbles on sleeping kids' horns and builds dams in our village creek. Sounds like the equivalent of Justin. Hey, you all, you know all about Ram, don't you? Huh? But, well, yeah, but only because we've been playmates forever. It's not like he's my boyfriend. Ram's not easy to look after since he's such a little rascal. I have to keep an eye on him constantly. And that reminds me of someone. Who can you be talking about, Fina? I wonder. Even though you are Rem's rescuers, we must ask that you refrain from coming here. This tree belongs to the God of at the God of Light Shrine. I am guarding this place. The God of Light is Lux, patron god, patron god who flies down from heaven to rescue us in times of need. Flies down from heaven? So I guess the God has wings too, eh? An even bigger God of Light is enshrined on the mountain behind the village. Us old timers can hike can't hike that far, so we come to the shrine instead. An even bigger God of Light is shrined. Okay. We got these guys, didn't we? Yeah. Talk to you, I remember. Might as well go in these houses. Rem's house, perfect. Actually, no, we should come back to Rem's house after. Because this might be where we have to be for the story. Luck is a peaceful village protected by the God of Light. The God of Light hides Luke Luck in the mist protect it. Really, and where's the God of Light? The God of Light watches over us from the skies. His idol is in the mountain behind us. The statue of the God of Light is enshrined at the God Mountain, but don't ever touch that statue. If it should ever be broken, a terrible catastrophe will befall us. Oh, is that right? It looks like Justin has a reputation as a klutz. Sue, that's a secret. Statue's enshrined. Maybe you'd like to see it. I will definitely see it at some point. Hey, little outsider girl. Why does your hair ornament make that sound? Seems very suspicious to me. Huh? My hair ornament? Oh, you mean Puffy? Puffy's not a hair ornament. Ah, it sounded like a funny fuzzball. Just said something. You know, it's very rude to call him a funny fuzzball. His name is Puffy. Puffy's awesome. He can fly, he understands our words, and he can breathe fire and water. Oh, is that right? Well, it's even weirder. Man with a strange beast. That critter, I mean, uh, Puffy there. He's quite an interesting animal. Oh, you're telling me. Ahead lies the road to the end of the world. The wall is shrouded in mist, so you cannot do anything now. 
That large gate leads to where the Gaia Blade is enshrined. It leads to the Sacred Mountain. 